You ever heard of someone called Ulrich Mott? Weren't you wearing an eye patch the last time we met? An eye patch? <laughs> I don't think so, no. When may I see you again? You are aware that I'm married. You let me know if anything changes. Please raise your glasses as I marry the bedazzling Mrs. Elsa Britt. Can we speak? No, not on the telephone. That's not prudent. Who are you talking to? Shut your face! There will be time for tears and remembrance. No, there's urgent work to be done. What work? I must find and bring to justice the men who killed your mother and my wife. Why did you leave the house on the night of your wife's death? For a walk. You're late. Do you remember your feelings when you learned that your mother was planning to marry Mott? Shock, horror, disbelief. He looks like he could be my brother. Try to get to know him before you condemn him. She left him $250,000. A few months ago, she disinherited him. Am I under arrest? Not at the present time. My mother gave him money, propped up his so-called career. In exchange, he cooked her meals. They gave her an excuse to keep having Georgetown parties. It was a marriage of mutual exploitation. You are the perfect butler. Is that all you want to be? You know it isn't. So what are you waiting for? Urgent from Ulrich Mott, Villa Zarathustra, Sadr City, Iraq. You authorized the embed of a German national with the Mahdi army? Nobody. Diplomacy is the art of telling people to go to hell in such a way that they ask for directions. <laughs> The more I find out about this guy, the less I understand. Every word he says is a lie. You stink of alcohol. And you reek of the grave. To Ulrich and his marvelous achievement.